To make these earrings, we've got wire. This is 24 gauge wire and it's silver plated. We've got two silver plated head pins and two earring wires that are also silver. And then for beads, we've got bead chips. These are fun. You might see these at a bead show or bead store. They often come on a string and they're like little misshaped pieces that have been drilled through and they're fun to use stacked together. So we're going to use these little gemstone chips. These are actually kyanite, which is a nice blue gemstone. And to go with those, we have a pair of pearls that are kind of a silvery blue color. For tools, we've got chain nose pliers, round nose pliers, and then we're also going to use wire cutters. To make the earrings, the first thing we want to do is cut a piece of the 24 gauge wire. And this piece is about four inches long, and we're going to use it to make a little connector using our gemstone chips. So what we want to do is put a wrapped loop at one end and to do that I'm going to use my round nose pliers. I'm going to come in about an inch and I'm going to make a 90 degree turn in the wire. I'm just going to bend the wire towards me 90 degrees and then I'm going to reposition the pliers to the top of that bend and I'm going to go around the pliers. I'm going to reposition to the next other part of the pliers so that I can finish making the loop. Bring the wire around. Now I've got a nice little loop there. And to make it a wrap loop, what I want to do is hold the loop I just made and then wrap using this tail two times around the stem of the wire. So there's a wrap loop at one end. I'm going to trim that little piece of wire there with my wire cutters. I'm putting the flush side of the cutters against the project so I won't have any points sticking out. And then I just want to use my chain nose pliers to push that little pointy end down. And that's going to be one end of our little connector. And now we can feed our chip beads onto this. And I think it'd be nice to do about 15 of these little chip beads. And what I like to do is just dump a few out in my hand like that and then sort of fish them out with the wire. I don't want the really big ones. I'm going to save those for a different project. I want some of these smaller ones. I'm just going to count out 15 of these. And I just tilt them onto the wire like that. It's a good way to feed beads onto wire. And that's four. There's five. I think that one's a little too chunky. I'm going to take out some of these smaller ones. Six. Seven. Eight. Slide those down, nine, ten. If you wanted to do a smaller connector, you could stop there with ten, but I want to do five more, I think. I'll just pick out a few more here, do five more of these. These chips are so fun to use stacked together. They look really pretty grouped together. Individually, they're kind of odd looking. There's three more, I'll do two more. But all stacked together, they have a lot of movement and shine. The shapes are really fun together. So there's our 15 chips. See how pretty they look together? Now what I'm going to do is make another wrap loop just like this at the other end, and this will be a connector in the middle of the earring. To do that, I'm going to do the same thing I did at the other end. I'm going to use my round nose pliers. I'm going to go as close to those beads as I can, all the way down there. And I'm going to make a 90 degree bend. And then I want to put my pliers at the top of that bend so I can use the round shape of the pliers to make a round loop in the wire. So I wrap it all the way around like that. But my, my other side of the pliers in my way, I can't complete the loop unless I move the pliers over to the other jaw. Now I've got a complete loop. And I hold it across like we did before and then wrap this tail around the neck two times. There's another wrapped loop and I can use my cutters to cut the wire like that. And there's our neat little connector. That'd make a nice little necklace if you put some chain on it or you could make a little bracelet out of it but we're going to use it to make earrings. So what we want to do is hang a little pearl off the bottom. And to do that, I've got a head pin here, silver head pin. I'm going to feed it onto, feed my pearl onto the head pin. And then I'm going to make a wrap loop in the top of this pearl, just like we did before. 
pinch it right above the bead, 90 degree bend, reposition the pliers to the top of the bend, and I'm gonna go all the way around as far as I can, move the pliers so I can finish making that loop all the way around. But before I make my wraps, which is the next step when you grab it this way and wrap it, I need to feed it onto our chips here, our little connector. Otherwise I'll have two closed loops and they can't connect. So I'm gonna feed that on. Now they're connected and now I can hold that loop that we just made across with the, my round nose pliers and I can make my wraps like that. And then trim with my wire cutters. Make sure you don't cut through your project. Only want to trim the tail there. And there's our little dangle. And then the last thing we need to do is just feed this onto the earring wire and then press the earring wire closed with your pliers. And to make a matching one, you go through all the same steps. It doesn't take very long at all. And you'll have a beautiful pair of gemstone chip earrings featuring these pretty dangling pearls. Mm -hmm.